Hey everybody, it's Eric here with another installment of Ponderings with Aquanuga where we answer your questions. This question was from Barry who came into our store the other day and was talking about pH. He'd been testing his pH. It was running about 8.5 and he wanted to know how to bring it down to 7.0. Well, before we get into the adjustments of pH or anything like that, first we want to understand a little bit better about what we're actually testing with pH. Uh, pH is going to be measured on a scale of 0 to 14. Below 7 is considered acidic. Above 7 is considered alkaline. Now that we know that, it's also important to note that your pH will naturally fluctuate within the pond water, even throughout the day. In fact, it's going to be a little bit lower in the morning than it is in the afternoon. Uh, this has to do with the carbon dioxide that's being released in the water. Um, so to get a full picture of your pH value, you do want to be testing twice a day. Not that you're having to do that every day, but just when you are trying to get a feel for what your pH is. Uh, so test early in the morning and test in the evening. And that'll kind of give you a feel. Now, while it should or should be expected to rise throughout the day, um, you don't want that rising more than about a 0.3 or so. So if, it, if you're testing in the morning and it's 7.5, you really don't want it being over about 7.8 in the evening. Anything more than that, uh, and your fish really could be under stress because they don't have a chance to adjust to that pH uh, rapidly enough. All right, now that being said, um, your ideal pH for most pond fish is going to be 7.0 to 8.6. Um, so that 8.5 really is not too big of a problem, uh, although the ideal pH is going to be around 7.6. Um, we don't want to really chase that ideal most of the time. If you're within or even close to that acceptable range, it's generally better to leave it alone. If that, if it's stable there, and that's the key, is the, uh, as I touched on, we don't want that pH fluctuating too much throughout the day. Um, so if you are seeing a lot of fluctuation, then you really need to be looking at your KH. You want to test that. That's the carbonate hardness of the water. Uh, also just generally called the alkalinity. Your KH generally needs to be in the realm of 100 to 200 parts per million. And if you're lower than that, if you're lower than 100, you really want to do something to bring the KH up. And that's generally going to be more important than adjusting the pH itself. That's going to help stabilize that pH and keep it in a more acceptable range. Now that being said, if you are needing to adjust the pH, if it's gotten too low, well again, you know, 6.5 or down, then yes, adding a pH up per the directions, because uh, we don't want to be changing that too much too quickly. Or if it's super high, you know, above nine, then maybe you want to uh, be bringing that down a little bit with a pH lower. Again, following the directions to make sure that's not done too quickly. Uh, one additional note, uh, if you're also running a, an ammonia reading in the water, now again, uh, ammonia, if you're not already familiar, should always be zero. Um, if it's not zero, if you are running a, ammonia in there, that's something that should be uh, addressed, but in relation to pH, that ammonia is going to be more toxic in a higher pH. So that's the correlation there. But uh, for Barry, 8.5, if it's stable there, I leave it alone. So where we want to be is a good stable in that 7.0, 8.5 range. Hope that helps everybody. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.